Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the laws that govern our universe. We will call them the universal laws. What are they? The most important are gravity, the three laws of motion, and the speed of light. What is gravity? Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity in the 16th century thanks to a falling apple. Gravity is a force that attracts all objects to each other. Massive objects pull less massive objects to their center. For example, all objects on Earth are attracted to its center. The Sun attracts all of the planets in our solar system because it is the most massive object. But we also kind of need to know how things move. So, what are the three laws of motion? Newton's first law of motion. An object will go in the same path forever until another force acts upon it. That means that if you kick a ball, you act a force upon it, to be more precise, your muscle force. The ball flies into the sky, but over a short amount of time, gravity pulls the ball down to earth and the ball falls. Newton's second law of motion. The greater the mass of an object, the more force it will take to accelerate the object. Let us design a thought experiment. Imagine you have an elephant on a skateboard and a mouse on a skateboard. The elephant weighs one ton while the mouse 100 grams. He pushed the elephant and the mouse at the same time with the same force. You will see that the mouse went much further than the elephant. If you want the elephant to go as far as the mouse, you will need to push a lot harder. The equation for this law is F equals mass times acceleration. F is the force, M is the mass, and A is the acceleration. That means that the force for which you push the elephant depends on its mass and how hard did you push it. Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Imagine you stand on a skateboard and you throw a ball to the front. You will recoil and move backward with the skateboard. So we got the movement in the universe covered. What is the speed of light? The speed of light is how much light travels in a second, which is 299,792,458 meters per second. A light year is how much light travels in a year. That is 9 quadrillion 460 trillion 730 billions 472 million 580,800 meters. Is your head starting to hurt because that's a lot of digits and it's a humongous number? Mine sure is. You're probably thinking, why do we need this so-called light year and the speed of light? In short, because the universe is big and there is a great distance between objects so we can't measure them with a ruler. We need another way of measuring distances, and that is where light comes in. We measure the, the distance between objects how much it takes light to travel from Earth to, for example, Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a star. We measured four light years. That is a lot, and it is the closest star to Earth after the Sun. I know, I know, the universe is weird, very weird, but it is beautiful nonetheless. With all of its weird laws and quirks, it is a lovely place to live. Fun fact 1. Gravity is a force that attracts stuff to more massive objects. We learned that in the video. The gravitational acceleration on Earth is 9.807 meters per square second. That means that if you fall to Earth, that is the acceleration during your fall. There is an equation. Big G is small g times m. The big G is the weight, the m is a mass. There is a significant difference. The, G, the big G is the force of gravity pulling you to Earth, while M is your mass in pounds or kilograms. The small G is the gravitational constant, or 9.807 meters per square second. So my mass is 32 kilograms and small G is 9.807 meters per square second. What is G? G is 313.824 newtons. Newtons is for Newton, the unit of force. Well, at least for me. Try it yourself. Fun fact 2. Gravity pulls on you daily to keep you firm on the ground, but it has health impacts. Gravity pulls hard against the spine if you stand much during the day. From about 6.30 in the morning to about 11 o'clock, you can shrink from about 2 to 1 centimeters. That's a lot. So it is vital to exercise often, not to shrink. Fun fact 3. Gravity pulls stuff to Earth, right? But we saw from fun fact 1 that it doesn't pull equally on every object. But that is not all. The further away you are from the Earth's core, the less impact gravity has on you. 
So if you want to find a place with the least gravity on Earth, look for the highest mountains around the equator. Why the equator? Because the Earth is not a perfect sphere, so around the equator it is the furthest place on Earth if you are on zero meters above sea level. So if you want to find a place on Earth with least gravity, look around the equator and the highest mountains. I hope that you will look out for these laws in your daily life and have fun discovering them. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!